Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. So really quick, I'm gonna give you a GeoGebra crash course on how you can engage students super quick, very easily. So all you gotta do is go to GeoGebra's main page and let's actually search for something right here in the search bar, all right? I'm gonna search for something about percents. All right, so I want my kids to work with percents and I'm gonna find this activity right here. It's an open middle question. All right, so we'll take a peek at it. And uh, if you see it right here, uh, using the digits 0 to 9 at most one time each, fill in the boxes to create an accurate double number line. How many solutions can you find? So, like right here, I, I can see, I can move and uh, try to, uh, to build this thing. All right, it's like 34 is half of 68, right? But I can't repeat a digit. So let's say you like this, right? And you want to you assign this activity to your students and see their work live in real time. Well, you can do that by hitting the Create Lesson button up here. If you have a GeoGebra account, you can do this and watch. It's super easy, one, two, three. Hit Create Lesson, and you could retitle the lesson name. I'm just gonna hit Create, and there you go. All right, so now what you wanna do is copy that URL that you see right here. All right, you just copy it, or you can uh, go here and you know copy the link right there, or just copy the URL, if you will. And then on the right side, I'm gonna take the role of the student, and I'm gonna paste that URL in the browser. And since I have an account already, I'm signed in. There we go. So see how the student, uh, the student has joined the class? And here's the student thumbnail. The teacher view is on the left, the student view is on the right. Now watch, as the student works, you as a teacher can monitor all, all thought processes in real time just like that. You see? So uh, find something, find an activity you like, and you can engage them right away from the start. You'll see changes. Uh, in the teacher dashboard here, you could pause the students if you have to make an announcement. You could also hide their names too. If you want to have a class discussion, just keep names anonymous. Hey, which students have dot, 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 dot. You see what I mean? Uh, and if you click on student number one itself, the thumbnail, you can actually see that student's individual work right there. Uh, so you can see all the tasks that that student has completed so far. So uh, again, quick GeoGebra Classroom crash course. That's how to use it. So I hope you find this helpful.